So I work with my partner Dom at his carnivorous plant nursery, and today we want to share with you some easy beginner carnivores. Take it away! Here we go. Venus flytraps. So Venus flytraps are one of the number one suggestions for your first carnivorous plant. These things are so easy. They are perennials, and they are native to the United States and North Carolina. So if you're in zone 5 to like 10, these do like a cool winter rest. You just keep them in peat moss, keep them soaking in water constantly, and they're so easy to grow. Although people and nurseries sell them to be grown indoors, I always suggest them for outdoors. They're outdoor plants. They love full sun and always wet feet. They prefer live prey, never human food, and making them close with your finger will actually tire them out. So save it for the food. Sarcinia. Sarcenia also like growing in the same conditions as flytraps. They're also native perennials and also love growing in zones five to roughly 10. They do like a cool winter rest, which makes them perfect for the outdoor sunny bog garden. This one here is the species uh, Purpurea and it's Varvinosa. It's more of a Southern grown variety. I would say this one would love to be growing outside in zones seven and higher. And then over here we have a hybrid. Um, also more warm growing, this one's Judith Hindle. Beautiful white, colorful pitchers with all those red and pink speckles. Nepenthe St. Gaia. Nepenthes are my favorite of the carnivorous plants. And these are tropical, so they'll need to be grown indoors on a sunny windowsill or in a terrarium type setup. They do require high humidity and nice bright and direct light to produce these pitchers. These pitchers lure and trap insects pretty much like a sarsenia does. It's like a vase of water um, and live insects only, never human food, only a couple insects per pitcher and that keeps these plants beautiful and happy. If you wanna learn more about carnivorous plants, head on over to Red Leaf Exotics.